What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 11.0.3 to the public available for everybody. Now of course this comes just over a week after Apple released iOS 11.0.2 but there were some bugs that needed to be fixed. So you can see here this update came in at 285.2 megabytes here on my iPhone 8 which was running iOS 11.0.2 before this. So of course the first thing you're going to notice is that Apple again included the actual specific fixes for this iOS version. So this is really nice to see. And again, they don't do this too often. So it's really nice to see that they did this for 11.0.2 and now 11.0.3 as well. So we'll talk about these changes here in just a second. But let's go and take a look at the build number here for 11.0.3 Go to about here. And you can see here the build number is 15A432. All right, so now let's go back and look at those changes that Apple mentioned here in the release notes. So number one, it says fixes an issue where audio and haptic feedback would not work on some iPhone 7 and 7 Plus devices. So I did not face this issue with the iPhone 7, but some people did report this to me on Twitter. So that's nice to see that fixed here in 11.0.3. And you can see here the second fix noted is addresses an issue where touch input was unresponsive on some iPhone 6s displays because they were not serviced with genuine Apple parts. And if you guys remember from my jailbreak update video last week, I mentioned how iOS 10.3.3 was no longer being signed by Apple, which means you can no longer downgrade to that version through iTunes. It's impossible to downgrade. And so they stopped signing it for all devices except for the iPhone 6s. And it's because of this this issue. So since this issue only exists in iOS 11, it would make no sense for them to stop signing iOS 10.3.3 because then you're going to be stuck with this issue and never get it fixed. So Apple decided to open up 10.3.3 again, keep it open for the iPhone 6s so you can downgrade it to it if you needed to, but that has been fixed now in 11.0.3. So that means that Apple is going to stop signing iOS 10.3.3 very soon. So that means if you want to go back to iOS 10, iOS 10.3.3 instead of iOS 11, which a lot of people have been wanting to do lately, now is the time to do so. You need to do so ASAP. And the reason being is because Apple's going to stop signing 10.3.3 very soon, which is going to make it impossible to downgrade through iTunes. So if you do have an iPhone 6S and you want to go back to 10.3.3, make sure to do it as soon as possible because once again, it has been fixed here in 11.0.3. And then you can see here that Apple did also make a note, making sure that you know that you should only go to an Apple certified screen repair person. So let's go back to the home screen here and talk about the 3D touch stutter. It is once again present in 11.0.3. Surprise, surprise. You know, it's pretty much in every version. I'm not sure when this is going to get fixed, but you know, your typical everyday user is not going to notice this, but when you update, you know, and, and go through all the betas and do all the testing like I do, you're going to notice this 3D touch stutter. But once again, not a major deal, but I do have to mention it in every video just because I'm still waiting on an official fix to come someday. But aside from that, there's nothing that I found that has changed here in 11.0.3 from 11.0.2. As far as the battery life and performance on 11.0.2, it's actually been fine on my iPhone 8. A lot of people made videos bashing 11.0.2, but I do not think it was bad at all. So we'll see if iOS 11.0.3 can improve on that, but I'm not really expecting too much with such a small point update. The two changes I covered in the beginning are basically all that this update is going to bring to you. So if 11.0.2 is doing fine for you right now and you don't need any of those fixes that I mentioned earlier in the video, stay on 11.0.2. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. This was just a quick video talking about iOS 11.0.3. I hope you did enjoy it. If you found any other changes that I didn't mention, make sure to leave them in a comment down below. And as usual, I will be doing a follow-up video within the week talking about iOS 11.0.3 and how much better, if at all, it is than 11.0.2. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 11 coverage. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.